going on guys? It's Scott Paul here from Northwest Cap and from the Heal Network. I'm here at the Epic Art Gallery. Here you will see um, a ton of great art, beautiful art from local BIPOC students. You see paintings, poems, uh, so much here. I'm really excited to get it all started and see um, all the faces that are coming here and, and see all of the young black and you know BIPOC youth that are here sharing their experiences, sharing their artistic abilities and um, yeah bringing the whole community in on it. So. I, I grew up in this county, I grew up in this area and there's never been any space for black art to be even seen let alone um, you know really be uh, appreciated and for Norwest Cap to, to pull this off I'm uh, <laughs> So pleased that you guys are all here. Norwest Cap's commitment to anti-racist work is unwavering, and this was one of the first steps in really bringing that to fruition. And how this came about is we were hearing from our area youth and families that they were experiencing racism in the community, that they were experiencing racism within the school. There's very little venue for them to go. And when they don't have a voice, when the anger builds up, they end up on the opposite side of disciplinary, dismissed, not credible. So we wanted to create a venue where they could have a voice. And not just a voice, they could have the opportunity to set standards on what's okay and what's not okay. They in their school can create a culture where they can say, no, and racism is not going to live here and we're gonna be part of making sure that it doesn't. And these youth have stepped up to the table to make that happen. The words are powerful. The images are here, but the words are what you need to pay attention to because they speak very strong about the journey that many of our youth are traveling. When you read these I am poems, keep into consideration the poems are I am, which is the reality of what they're living life today in a racism, to their dream of what the future could be when there is an anti-racism. This room helps give power to our young people. Right? Yeah. The power exists, they just need our support, right? And so we've got to do all we can to be anti-racist, to make sure we speak out when we see something that's wrong. And if we don't, then we're complicit, right? So that's what being anti-racist is about. It's about being proactive and making sure we're giving everybody the chance that they can to express their power, to, to feel it, and to be able to live the life that they deserve to live and want to live. And the, the important thing about art is that art is power too. So when you can express yourself, whether it's through dance, whether it's through visual arts, all, that's, all that stuff helps people understand our humanity. Mm -hmm. And that our humanity is, is independent of our race, it is independent of our, our birthrights, it is who we are and we have the right to express it. And what I, what I love about it is, bringing history in it because I'm a history nerd, uh, <laughs> studied history in college, but making sure that we are righting the wrongs of a long history of institutional racism and doing it with joy, with art, and with love. So here's my pitch. Support Diana, support our kids, support this work here, support this community center by coming out to events, uh, by volunteering for things, making sure that we are being proactive and helping this community uh, really be a better community. And that's what we're out here to do. I hope our support uh, will continue to push everybody here, but we can't do it without what happened here tonight. This is an awesome crew. Thank you very much.